hey y'all so i'm back with an update update of my a5 um, um child what is this plan one of land two 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 baby my life ain't together okay just going to give you like a update flip through type of thing this cover is from new newster new esther something like that Something on, oh, snizzap. Um, I got it from um, Amazon. The link is in the bio. Really like this. It was only $27. It feels really, really good. I love that it's a traveler's notebook. And for $27, baby, you just can't beat it, honey. You just can't beat it. And it's super spacious. Like, I got tons of room in there. And you know that this Wonderland 222 is the A5 all-in-one. It is huge. I need all the space. All right, so... Let's just look at this quick little setup here. All right, so I threw together, and when I say threw together, I do really mean threw together. I threw together these task cards. I got daily, weekly, and monthly. And um, things I need to do that I don't necessarily need to write down, I just kind of need to make sure that these things are getting done more or less. I kind of want to make these cards look a little bit better. I really wanted them on um, clear vellum. I'm going to redo them on clear vellum like my old ones are, which, of course, now that I'm looking for them, there they are. Similar to like these ones, I really like the clear vellum versus the white. Just I just got to get some more vellum. Here is my brain dump trigger list from brown plans i as of this video i have not seen her on instagram but i downloaded these a long time ago so i already had it if you're looking for her on um instagram this is a free download i love it um i laminated it so that i can easily look at this when i am planning really good for brain dumping and trigger listing and all that fun stuff um this is just um, a TN notebook from Sterling Inc. It just has some business ideas, stuff from my upcoming Etsy shop and my coaching business and just stuff in there. Not sure if I'm going to keep it in here or not. Um, This is just a sticky note, child. It ain't nothing special. I cut this paper. I got this paper from Hobby Lobby and I put a piece of clear vellum on top to give it a frosty look you know but why not and that's my boo as y'all know and you've got i'm pretty you have seen all of these things so none of this is new so what is new is this little dashboard right chair i made this two-sided um dashboard that i tipped in one size says personal and one size says business and I really, so this was supposed to be like my sticky note landing page, right? But it's so pretty. I didn't want to, oh goodness. I didn't want to dirty it up with, God, I got stuff everywhere. I didn't want to dirty it up with sticky, not, not dirty it up, but you know, junk it up, clutter it up with a bunch of sticky notes. So I said, let's do something else. And I needed something in between here because it just, it was not doing what I needed it to do. So here we are this is a home for sticky notes and um you know personal business so these sticky notes i need to either reference really quick or they need to go somewhere so that's what that is this still naked <laughs> still naked i have decided i'm gonna make me a gold collage here and over here is gonna be my word of the year which really is my scripture of the year because that is the word and I'm going to make both of them into collages one day when I have some time to sit down for 2024. Um, this is still, I don't know what I'm over here. Who knows, child? Who knows what's going to go here? This, actually, what I might end up doing is just really just taping this down here. Because I really don't, I don't need nothing else there. This is the 90-day chronological reading plan. And... A simple, what does it say, y'all? I can't read. Just a simple home. Yeah. 
got this in her i've used this multiple times and i plan to do it again every 90 days and um <clears throat> i wanted it here right up here so i can reference it over and over and over and i want to do 90 days both times so that's why it's right here um that is one of my goals for 2024 is to read the bible through four times and when I say read the Bible through four times, what I mean is audio Bible, the Bible through four times. I used to feel guilty about audio, audio Bibling daily and not like sitting down and reading. And then I thought to myself, why are you upset? How did the early church and God's chosen people, how did they get the word at first? It was read to them. All right. Moving on. I'm not going to get theological with y'all. Alright, this is still going to be my weight tracker. Remember last time I was talking about I didn't know what I was going to do with this. I, I Child, I, I tipped it in. Because I'm going to write my daily tracked weight in here. And I'm just going to write how many pounds I lost that month. Or if I just maintained for that month. My goal is for 2024 is to be in maintenance mode. To be out of, like, by the end of the first quarter, I should be done with weight loss. And by the second quarter, I should be in maintenance mode. That is my goal for these months to not fluctuate more than about five pounds, give or take. <clears throat> so, all right. Now, this was supposed to be the business planner. I'm supposed to write down release dates. Y'all, I can't. I can't. This might be a workout schedule. This could be a food diary because if I'm doing OMAD, I'm only eating one thing anyway. I don't know. Give me some ideas, child, because what I'm not going to do is write my videos there when I can easily put them on my monthly calendar or and my weekly calendar. I have finally started to write down some of my goals that I want to track here. Um, I've seen people make really cute like sleep tracker spreads here and i thought about doing that but i don't really know oh no but yeah so we'll come back to that and yeah so we'll jump right into december still really love the way this looks this is why i don't have no more vellum because i've used it everywhere and I've, I'm still using this section. I still really love it. I've been updating it and crossing stuff off for December, even though we're still in November. Finally started adding things to my monthly calendar. So these are just stickies that I'm going to be able to move to the next month. But also, the reason why I'm using these stickies is so I can easily change these dates. These are, these are tentative. <laughs> these things can change. My last day at work is the 15th. So, Mondays, I don't do hair. Um, I am, well, I, in the evenings, I am meeting with a coaching client right now. But, typically, I don't do hair on Mondays. Mondays are, like, admin days, mental health Mondays. Like, Monday is not a day that I'm, like, physically doing any hard work. So, typically, my solo lunch date and self-care days will be on those days. Um, date night will be on those evenings. But, this can change because my husband starts a new job. And, I don't know what his schedule is going to be. But, anywho... That is that. Also, I'm writing appointments down so that I can track who showed up, who didn't, and make it a little easier for me to track what my income and stuff was. And down here in the brown, this is going to be my daily cleaning. I mean, y'all, we all straighten up our house and clean every day. But I want to, like, hone in on certain rooms and things like that. So I'm not overwhelming myself on one day during the week trying to clean the whole house. So... Mondays, I got kitchen. Um, my living room and dining room are kind of connected in the way my house is set up. Then we got laundry in the hallways. We got bathrooms in the foyers. I'm skipping Friday and Saturday because the kids do whole house tours on Saturday. Fridays, I'm typically really busy with hair. And then Saturdays, Sundays, I like to clean my room in the boys' room because I'm finding our clothes and their clothes are for the week. So it just makes more sense. And here's the month weekly. I did move in. And I did go ahead and finish setting this up for the rest of December. So here's this week that we're in. Um, I really enjoy like writing like a one line or a couple words about the day. Like Monday, I failed my fast. Yesterday, I ate too much. And today is a new day. 
because I failed my fast today too, but whatever. Love my transparent sticky notes for the following week. Uh, I'm already kind of like starting to plan next week. I can't believe like, <laughs> it's not even December 1st and it's already gonna be December 10th and then next week. It is insanity. Time is flying, but moving so slow. So I really like how these um, weekly pages came about. Like I'm, I'm loving the decor. And of course I have sticky notes on every day so I can start writing things down that I may do or whatever. And January is not set up at all, but I'm gonna, I wrote down, yeah. The week of the 18th, I'm gonna start setting up January. I actually really love seeing, probably be easier here. Like seeing the beginning date of the month, of the week and the ending date of the week. I really like that. Back here is still for finances. Um, I'll be writing down expenses, income, and I'll be writing my income and what I pay on my bills every week because once I start working for myself, I'll be paying bills and setting money aside weekly. This is just a doctor appointment that I have coming up for next month. And yeah, so there's really nothing else on the weekly pages. We can skip over to um, the daily section. And um, this is November, which you guys have seen. You know, I started using this planner um the week of thanksgiving but i back planned the previous week to give myself an idea of what i wanted to do and here is a seafood boil spread that i did this is some journaling y'all this is all the journaling i did for the whole time i've been in this planner it's because i've just been really busy but when i'm back off of this nine to five i'll be able to journal and spend more time on planner this is Thanksgiving. So this is my Thanksgiving spread that I tipped in. I did a video of me like tipping this in and setting it up and everything. Really like how this came out. This was supposed to be like a journal entry about Thanksgiving and it ended up turning into a rant about things that occurred on and about around Thanksgiving. So yeah, that's why it's covered up. <laughs> and I was about to start journaling and I was like, you know what? How about you film this update video and give these people what they want? So I did. And since I have not had time to do much journaling, all of these like November-ish themed pages ain't finna get filled out. But then we started with December. And I, st I still need to do my tipping sheet for December. And I ain't got novella, number one. And number two, December is gonna start off with some very November-ish festive colored stickers, but child, whatever. And that's it. I stopped there. No, not there. Here. And that's as far as I got. And yeah, so that's my setup. Super, super de duper simple. Really, really enjoying this planner. I was supposed to be setting up my Hobonichi Weeks Mega as like a supplement. And uh, I can't do it. I'm so attached to this planner that I can't even set up that Hobonichi Weeks and try to use it like on the go because I keep this in my book bag and I've been using this on the go. Like I, yeah, I'm literally pulling this big giant thing out. I guess even though I can flip flop back and forth from planner to planner, I'm still the one planner girl and I guess yeah. at least one at a time. I can flip flop through the year, but at once I can only use one planner or I feel like I'm writing stuff down twice. But, yeah, that is it, y'all. That's it. <laughs> Thank you if you stayed around this long and watched the whole video. Um, I appreciate you. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Are, is anyone else, are y'all using the Wonderland 222? Have you ever used it? Are you interested in trying it? I think you should. Um, I, I think it. they're on sale right now. Um, I think they're on sale. Um, yeah, really, really digging it. So let me know what you're thinking. All right, guys. Happy planning. I'll holla. Bye.